The Straw Hats are the main protagonists in One Piece. The crew is led by Monkey D. Luffy, who wanted to gather a crew that would be super strong and help him to accomplish his dream of becoming the Pirate King. The first person to join the crew was Rurano Azoro, and he was followed by more people. Currently, the crew has 10 members Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, Yusup, Nami, Chopper, Robin, Frankie, Brooke, and Jinbei. Each straw hat specializes in one particular field, and they are all extremely valuable to the crew. The latest person to join the crew was Jinbei, who finally arrived in Wano after escaping Big Mom and her crew. Over the last few arcs, the Straw Hats have been helped by some other characters, and these characters have made a strong case to become the next member of the crew. There are many candidates, but in this list, we will try to pick best candidate as Star Hat Pirate. And friends I have ranked the possible candidate accordingly. So my ranking could vary from yours. You can share your opinion in the comment box. Number 8 Otama Otama made her first appearance during the Wayno Country arc. Despite just being a child, Otama is a very courageous person. She joined the battle at Inigashima, and she helped the Straw Hats to turn the tide of the battle with her Devil Fruit ability. She cares about all the people who are close to her. Before the Straw Hats came to Wano, Otama had asked Ace to take her with him, but Ace declined as she was too young. In Luffy, she found an elder brother once again, and this might be the opportunity that she was looking for. But Luffy will say the same thing that she is too young and from now on Straw Hat will face strong enemies. Number 7 Sharla Katakuri Sharla Katakuri is one of the sweet commanders of the Big Mom Pirates. He made his debut in the series during the Whole Cake Island arc. Katakuri was the first character who displayed the use of advanced observational hockey. He is also a user of Conqueror's Hockey. During his fight against Luffy, Katakuri helped the Luffy to evolve and become stronger. He acted as a mentor for Luffy, and the two respect each other very much. If Katakuri ends up joining the Straw Hats, he would provide a big boost to the crew's strength. But we can see him as one of the ally of Straw Hat Pirates. Number 6 Smoker Smoker is a Navy Vice Admiral, but he is quite different from the other Marines. He has a strong sense of justice, but unlike most marines, he cannot turn a blind eye to the dodgy decisions of the world government. He has a history with Luffy, and he has been chasing him all over the world, but siding with the Straw Hats would allow Smoker to go against the questionable policies of the world government. Number 5 Vivi Vivi is the Princess of Alabasta, and formerly a member of the Straw Hat Pirates. She sought the help of the crew when her kingdom was under threat by Crocodile, one of the Shichibikai. She joined the crew and fought against the Baroque works. Vivi's addition to the crew was well received by the fans. Vivi's efforts were finally rewarded as the crew managed to get rid of the threat. When the crew had to set sail, Vivi decided to stay behind as she could not ignore her duties as the princess. There is still a chance that in the future Vivi might come back to the crew. Num 4 Marco. For a long time, Marco served under the command of the strongest man in the world, however, after the Summit War's conclusion, Marco retired to a secluded island. There is no doubt that Marco is a very skilled fighter, as he has shown that he can fight against the likes of King, Queen, Kizaru, and he even fought a Kainu. Marco has a close bond with Luffy, as the latter managed to free Ace from the clutches of the Marines. The last order that Whitebeard gave him was to protect Luffy while in Marineford War, so the best way to ensure that Luffy lives is by joining the crew. He has Ace's will to protect Luffy, which would make him a great addition to the crew. Number 3 Bone Clay Originally Bone Clay was an enemy of the Straw Hats, but towards the end of the Alabasta arc, he became one of their allies. When the crew was about to be captured by the marines, Bone Clay gave up his own freedom and let himself be arrested, so that the Straw Hats could escape. He is the only character who helped Luffy many times. During the Impel Down arc, Bone Clay once again proved to be invaluable, as he decided to stay behind, in order to allow Luffy to escape to Marineford with the rest of the prisoners. His acts of selflessness have won over the hearts of the every One Piece lover. He may be currently in Impel Down not as a prisoner, but as a comma queen in level 5.5. There is a high possibility of him joining Luffy in future. Number 2 Carrot. Carrot was first introduced in the Zoo arc. 
She immediately took a liking to the Straw Hats after what they did to save the Makomo dukedom from being wiped out completely. She went to Whole Cake Island with the crew as they tried to rescue Sanji from the clutches of Germa 66 and the Big Mom Pirates. While the group was on the Thousand Sunny, Carrot acted as the lookout, which helped them to spot land and dangerous objects. The position of a lookout is very important on any pirate crew, and the Straw Hats do not have great options in this specific position. Carrot played an important role in their mission as she put her life on the line. Carrot has a very good bond with the crew, especially with Chopper. As a member of the Ming tribe, Carrot grew up while learning how to fight. She knows how to use Electro, which is unique to the Minks. Her fighting skills allowed her to become a member of Inuit Urshis's Musketeer Squad. Like all the Minks, Carrot has the ability to transform into her Sulung form. Furthermore, if she joined the crew, it would make the Straw Hats have another unique race, as currently they do not have a Mink on their crew. Like the other Straw Hats members she has a dream, and it is to see the world. Number 1 Yamato Yamato became an ally of the Straw Hat Pirates. During the Inigashima raid. Yamato dreams of leaving Wayno Country's confines and setting out to sea with the Straw Hat Pirates, much like Odin did with the Whitebeard and Roger Pirates decades before. Yamato actually met Porga's Ace many years ago, and the two fought each other for a brief period. After their fight was over, they sat down together, and Ace told Yamato about Luffy and what he wanted to achieve. Ace expected Yamato to laugh at Luffy's dream, but their reaction was surprising. Yamato waited for many years to meet Luffy, and when the two finally met, they were able to form a connection immediately. Yamato is a very strong character, and has proven their strength on several occasions, such as when they were able to knock out Ulti without any difficulty. Furthermore, Yamato was also able to fight against Kaido without any help, which is an incredible feat. Yamato's strength would make them a valuable addition to the crew, and it is fair to say that they would only be second to Luffy in terms of strength. This would be a huge upgrade considering the upcoming journey. In the recent manga chapter 1051 Yamato announces to Straw Hats that they'll be joining the Straw Hats from here on out. But all it would have to be Luffy who decides whether or not they can accompany the Straw Hats. Friends thanks for watching. If you have watched till now like the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel.